Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Cube's coverage of Commerce Tools Elevate here in Miami, Florida. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host and analyst, Shelly Kramer. We we are wrapping up our, our day of coverage here. It's been it has been a day. The the expo is closed right now because there's another key note going on. But it has been a pleasure doing this show with you. The first time ever that the Cube has been here. It it has been amazing. Our our immersion into the world of commerce, yeah. Rebecca, and we are emerging with so much great information and insights from all of the people we had an opportunity to talk with. It's been really great. It has. It has. 88 speakers, 25 sponsors. As I said, the first time the Cube has ever been to Commerce Tool to Elevate. So much terrific content from this show and, and really a deeper understanding of how the world of commerce is changing. And that is something that affects all of our lives because as we came into this show, Shelley, we are both experts at e-commerce. <laughs> we, are, we are professional consumers, yes. And I think really, you know, that is the premise at which everything starts is that the world has changed, customer expectations have changed. And, and today's customers, um, we come into every situation short on time, short on patience, high on expectations. And so serving up perfect experiences, which is <laughs> no easy bar, right? But perfect experiences that are personalized, that make me happy to be a customer, happy to be spending my money at whatever it is that, that I'm buying, whether it's pet supplies or whether it's makeup or whatever. Um, and I think that that, that that is a really high bar for vendors to meet. And I think the great thing about the conversations that we had today was seeing how brands are stepping up and taking on that challenge and how technology solutions like the ones that we're exploring today are really making a huge difference. Well, it's as you said, this is not just something, oh, this is a business imperative to meet customers where they are. No, this is a necessity. Customers demand this. They expect this. And if they don't get what they want at the moment they want it, they abandon We're the gone. cart. They say, yeah, no, thank you. I'll, I'll find it somewhere else. Um, you're wasting my time. And so and so businesses really understand all the money that's at stake here. And, and it's not just that cart, too. It's the customer loyalty. It's the will that customer come back? Did we make this a seamless, easy experience? Did we to tell the customer something they didn't know about a new product or about uh, services that they can find here at our at our company. So I think that there's so much to making this this experience easy, flexible, um, and and really immediate too. The immediate gratification is so important. I agree. So I think that what Commerce Tools has done with this Elevate event is, you know, I think we saw the power of community and collaboration at work, right? And so, you know, from the from the beginning keynote, they talked about, you know, bringing people with diverse backgrounds and different levels of experience together and being able to form meaningful partnerships that help build the future of commerce and make it customer centric. And so in all the conversations we've had today, we've had an opportunity to talk with people who are incredibly passionate about that and about delivering the absolute best in customer experiences. But also, I think knowing that we we can't, we really shouldn't try to do this alone. I mean, this is really a journey, a, a transformation journey that is best when done, you know, in partnership and in alliance with trusted partners. And I think we saw a lot of that in action today, the PayPal Alliance, the EPAM, you know, all of that sort of thing. These are, these are companies that are really passionate about working together to deliver for customers and for brands. And you made a great point because it, it, collaboration is not easy. You've got different cultures, different kinds of missions, different ways of working, different expectations. And so the idea that these companies, as you said, there are coming together to do what's right for the customer and serve the customer in this in these new ways that the customer demands and expects is, is really exciting. And I think that what is so clear about Commerce Tools is that it has a way of working that is uh, customer centric. They, they, they innovate with the customer in mind. And so they are looking for partners who feel the same and who do the same thing. And that is EPOM and that is um, PayPal, of course. Uh, and I think the other thing that's so clear, and we do a lot of these shows, we're, we're, we're at a lot of tech shows with theCUBE, is it really is all about the ecosystem. It's about bringing together different voices at, at conferences like this one. Yeah. 
saying, oh, I dealt with that problem too. Here's what worked for us. Or, oh, you're working with this challenge? Talk to this this yeah. this group over here. They did something similar. Here are some best practices that emerged. So there's so much that really comes out of, of being together here and collaborating. Well, and I agree. And I think there's also so much learning that takes place along the way. And I know that, you know, composable commerce, you know, that's something or headless commerce, you know, these are terms that not everyone is familiar with. But when we start diving into composable commerce and, you know, um, what that is and, and descriptions that are shared, like, you know, think of these as little Lego blocks that you can slide in. And, you know, I don't need to rip and replace everything that I've got right now. I don't need to redo everything. I want to start out, maybe I want to start out slow. And so I can plug in the elements into my tech stack that I need. And I don't have to take this massive risk. I don't have to change everything at once. Um, and, and of course, there are customers who want to do that, and that's fine and, and possible as well. But I think that the, the composable commerce element of it makes it incredibly attractive because it, it allows you, it meets customers where they are. And I think that is incredibly important. And I think we see, really see, um, we see the company doing a great job of addressing that and, and saying, you know, we've got tons of solutions, but we're here ready to meet you where you are. And right. I think that's what customers are looking for. Because it's not a one size fits all uh, pr proposition. And and yet what is so striking, too, is we had uh, great executives on from PetSmart as well as Ulta Beauty. And you think, OK, one sells dog food, one sells mascara. What, what, <laughs> how, where, what's the common theme here? And yet there are so many commonalities that, they, that of course, PetSmart has grooming services. Well, guess what? Ulta Beauty has a brow bar. Yeah. Uh, and then they're also trying to um, meet customers who have cats or iguanas. And then they're also trying to meet customers customers uh, with, uh, with with dogs and, and more and more typical common pets. And then Ulta Beauty is trying to meet young Gen Zers. And then they're also trying to meet the middle. I think they market. also want to meet the people who, you know, write the checks or use oh, the right, credit cards. Actually, we don't write checks anymore. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, so I know that they're very happy to see me come in because, you know, or my teenagers come in with my credit card. Well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But that's my point is that they're yeah. really both retailers are trying to make sure that they are providing a seamless omni-channel experience for customers. Because yeah. I think that omni-channel, sometimes it gets forgotten a little bit in, in this, that we think it's all the tech and it's all the using your app. But in fact, there is a significant part of the in-store experience that technology is underpinning. Yeah. And, you know, um, when we were talking with Alta, it was so interesting to think about. I tend to be not the kind of person, I do really don't want to download your app. But when he was talking about how, you know, the app works in conjunction with an in-store experience. And so it actually made me interested in trying it out the next time I'm in an Ulta store because, you know, you have the ability to open the app and be in this channel and do some exploration. And then when you get comfortable, you know, asking a question, then you can migrate to a salesperson and, and you know, seek out help on browse solutions or whatever. So I thought that was really interesting. And again, I'm always especially interested when somebody talks about something that I don't do and how I might change my behavior and get a better experience at, along the way. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And, and um, you know, I think that, I think that, you know, everything, I loved the focus areas that Commerce Tools talked about in, in, and what they want to, you know, where all of their work and their releases will fall. And it's really pretty it's really pretty easy to think about. It's all about delivering on the simplicity front. And, you know, this is how to make it easier to implement new brands, new regions, new channels, anything that you might want to do. Their goal is to make it easy. Um, leadership, they are so passionate about sort of owning this composable commerce space and and demonstrating their passion for leadership and sort of showing the way and, and the investments that they make and and delivering more value and sharing customer use cases and that's something we're going to hear some of those use cases i think from um the cmo here in a little bit and then the other the the last um underpinning of their strategic foundation is they just want to outperform everybody else. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Like that to me, that is, um, 
that commitment is just, I love it. I love the passion for that. And I love the confidence. Like we know we can outperform everybody else watch us. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to great things from Commerce Tools. I well, think and, that's and that's the thing. We have seen the momentum that this company has. We've seen their their growth story. And, and we heard from the from the founder CEO, Dirk Horig, who he said, look, you know, we were really on an upswing. COVID happened. It exploded went down a little bit after the pandemic, but now we're really starting to see the solid 8% growth. Yeah. And that's what our expectations are. There is, we, we talked to the CFO, Dan Murphy, who who said that there there's a potential path for an IPO. So there's a lot of excitement here. You know, you tried. <laughs> tried I to get him to share. I did. I tried did. to get him to share information, but that's okay. That's what we have to do. We have to poke and prod, right? You know, the other thing that I'm so excited to see is the move to focus on B2B manufacturing with their foundry solution. And I think that, you know, we often make the mistake of thinking that B2B is tremendously different from B2C, but the reality of it is people consume in a lot the same ways and we have a lot of the same expectations. And the last handful of years have, the last decade has taught us to be um, excellent online purchasers of the things that we need to fuel our lives. And, And it's not only just our personal lives, it's our business lives as well. So I think that bringing in, um, a focus on the B2B market really opens the door for the opportunity that is ahead for commerce tools. And I think that's something I personally want to stay on top of because I think there's just tons of great things that can happen there. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure co-hosting this show with you. We've met a lot of great people, a lot of great customers. We've had an amazing, incredible crew with Andrew, Ken, and Dawn, and uh, and <laughs> Alex. And so thank you so much. And I, I hope we get to do work together again. I'm sure we will. Yeah. I'm Rebecca Knight for Shelley Kramer. That has been our coverage of Commerce Tools Elevate coming from Miami, Florida. Thank you so much for watching.